With almost 11% of the Android users having a good taste of the sweet Android Oreo, if you are on an older Xiaomi phone like the Redmi Note 3 or let alone any old Android phone, chances are you will not get a chance to taste the freshly baked pie by Google. But as we all know that where Google leaves us, custom ROMs get our back. So this is a quick walkthrough of the Pixel Experience 9.0 for your beloved Redmi Note 3 slash Kenzo. Will this provide you a good taste of Android pie? Let's find it out in today's video. Hey what's up guys, Bushan here from Adboy Expert. With that being said, let's get started. So in order to install this ROM, all you have to do is just flush the zip that is given down below. And as all the Google apps are integrated inside of this ROM, you guessed it, no need to flash any additional gaps file. Now the first thing you will notice right off the bat is how optimized this ROM is for the Snapdragon 650. I mean the first boot was just done under 40 seconds which is really fast if you think of it. And the performance of this ROM won't disappoint you even after you boot up. All the apps run as smooth as butter, there is no lag in using heavy apps like Facebook, Twitter, Instagram etc. Even the animations are fast as compared to Android Oreo. Although I would highly recommend you to turn down the animation speed to 0.5 and that's because I feel the animations are a bit too slow when set to one time speed. So that's all good, but what about the core Android Pie experience? Well, the name is not just to fool you. The Pixel experience really does provide you with that core Android Pie experience. Almost all the new features of the Android P are baked right into the ROM, like the new notification bar, the swipe up home screen gesture, the new colorful settings menu, the ability to set the music volume as default volume, digital well-being and of course the cute Android P animations. This really looks like a good package for an Android P ROM and it really is a good package after all. All the basic stuff like fingerprint sensor, Wi-Fi, GeoVolTE, Google Apps etc works pretty well. And even the standby time is decent enough, although I can't comment much about the battery life because I'm still testing this ROM, but from my very first impressions, the battery life is pretty good enough. Now you might wonder, there are no bugs at all? Well, there was a major bug, which by the way is patched, and that was if you just reboot the phone, the ROM will reset back to normal, but that bug is just gone in this new update, so no need to worry about that. But if you still find any major bugs, do ping me up in the comments. With that being said, I'm our boy expert, and I'm signing out.